as I was working on my doctorate, I was also working at a hospital where they asked me to find essential oils to bring into the hospital, which I was like, what are those? Like, <laughs> I mean, I had to use them at a massage, but it wasn't until I started like actually looking like, what the heck is this stuff? Like there's so much cool research on this and a lot of times these are better than the medications that we're taking and the side effects are way less and why aren't we doing this? And so like my world's collided. I was so naive to what essential oils were and so what I did was I went to Mother's Market in Laguna Hills and I picked up a bottle of lavender and a bottle of eucalyptus and I took that to the hospital because they asked me to find an essential oil and I found one. <laughs> <laughs> but when we actually broke it down and saw what was inside those bottles, it wasn't even lavender that was in the bottle. It was lavendin. And lavendin is just a cousin of lavender, but it's cheaper. Not necessarily the same chemical constituents at all, or maybe even the same properties, but it smells similar, right? It's cheaper. So the frustrating thing for me was that on the bottle it said 100% pure essential oil. So I just thought that's what it was, but it was mostly alcohol fillers. We also found synthetics and pesticides in there. So the hospital was like, no, no bro, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't bring that in here. So it led me on this long path of meeting people who were using oils and this, that, and the other thing. And like, we finally found an oil that when, when we tested it, it was 100% pure 100% of the time. We know that essential oils that are therapeutic um, are, are helpful for us. What we're learning is if an essential oil has been altered, for example, that Melissa, how it was cut with lemongrass, it changes the structure, kind of like our DNA, it changes the structure, can actually be harmful. And so we're learning about how important it is for people to be educated on what they're using, especially on their kiddos. And so that's kind of a big part of my mission is to just say like, let's use really good quality so that we're not harming our kids or harming ourselves. For kiddos, you always wanna dilute. There is research now showing, however, that dilution is actually more therapeutic. And that's because essential oils are lipophilic, so they love fat. So when you're putting fat, like a coconut oil, on your skin and you're putting your oils on, it's actually able to penetrate deeper. Do you prefer a coconut oil as sort of that combo or is there like a jojoba um, oil? Or... Yeah, I use, I use jojoba, I use coconut, and I use sweet almond. So you can yeah. even do lotion, you know, mm -hmm. to get it in there too. All oils are safe for all ages. However, there's certain oils that are more hot, we talked about. Um, oregano is a hot oil when you put it on your skin it burns um, not literally burns you but it probably would literally burn a baby and um, clove cinnamon cassia which is the cousin of cinnamon peppermint spearmint your mints those you probably want to avoid on the kiddos if you did ever put them on the kiddos it'd be bottoms of the feet because the feet are tough and they're heavily heavily d diluted so clove for example is a really good one for teething but you really have to make sure it's diluted or it's gonna burn your gums. Because emotions are so hard to track, it's very subjective. It is hard to pin down. But part of my research was anxiety. And so what we did was we tested anxiety levels before we gave an essential oil aromatherapy touch hand massage before surgery, and then we gave it after. But the coolest part, so this was cool. We it definitely decreased anxiety. We saw that, that's subjective. But what wasn't subjective that made me go like, yes, okay, now I can like show this to the science community is the blood pressure levels dropped significantly. Mm -hmm. I had a little girl, this is a good example. She uh, has a severe anxiety about going to school and it's a, it's a fight every day for her and her mom. So we came up with a plan that we're gonna get the essential oil braver and we're gonna apply it down our spine, bottoms of the feet every morning, and we're gonna say affirmations. I am brave, I am strong, I can do this. And we're just gonna do that every day and you create a structured routine for them. And that's the great part about implementing essential oils into your life is that once you have a routine, they're used consistently and they can now start working therapeutically for you.